Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Patricia Stewart of Patricia Stewart Originals. Okay, earlier I had pulled a print and decided to clean off my plate with what was existing. And um, I'm using 16 by 20 gel plate, which is the largest that they make. And I'm using an 18 by 24 uh, mixed media black acid free paper. And I'm using a six inch brayer, which is wider when you're trying to cover a larger surface. And I'm using Golden Fluid Acrylics, which I enjoy using for mixed media and most of my paintings. And so here is, you can see, that's what I cleaned the plate off from my last pull of something else because I don't like to waste paint or what's left on the plate, I pull it. But now I want to add to this. And so I'm going to, I'm going to use cadmium yellow. Manganese blue. some titanium white and I'm going to put some mask down the thing with using a large larger gel plate it requires more paint of course and if you have masks that you're putting down and when it's time to pull them up to lay your print, it takes a little bit more time to do that. So you want to make sure that you don't have too much paint, but enough where when you get through pulling up the mask, you still, it's still wet enough. Okay. So I'm going to lay down some circles that I have. It's okay that they're not laying flat because when I put the paper over it, it will more than likely lay down. I had pulled those up from another um, pull. These are some circles. Um, I will stick some of these in there. something different. Add this to it. And just fill up this plate. It's a lot more to cover and fill up. And you 
have to try to work quickly when you're doing it. Sometimes I overlap them as well for interesting, um, more interesting effect. A circle within a circle. So I'm going to take this I've delayed some registration marks that help me place it same place again. And of course you have to stand up to do this because the plate is large. It's not like the smaller plates where you can be seated. Gel printing, you can never tell what the outcome will be. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Some more to add to what we have. This is pretty interesting. It filled in. Those colors kind of blend nicely together. So this is what we have. Now this is just a background um, because um, I will have my subject matter um, painted on top of this and I'll probably have it going this way as my painting. And so now we have, I can easily pull these up. And I can take another uh, bl uh, black mixed media paper on top of this and pull this print as well. I'm not sure, but perhaps those backgrounds that I'm making now will serve as a for a series of paintings. Uh, so now it's what do I pull this up? What base color am I going to use? I'm going to throw caution to the wind and use a little quinacridone magenta. a very powerful color. I think I will need to add hmm, I want to try adding some iridescent gold. I want to 
of mix it to get a nice effect when I pull it. Oops, left the circle on here. A lot to cover so if you decide to use a 16 by 20 plate you have to get or it's advised that you get sheets of paper that can cover that if you you know are not making paintings for sale um, you can certainly use craft paper that comes on a roll on Amazon. It comes as a roll and you can roll out as much as you want. It will be able to uh, cover your plate, 16 by 20 plate. Sometimes I leave the paper on for a few minutes so I can just soak up what's on the plate so I can at least get the majority of what I have on the plate off. This is pretty heavy paper. So here we're pulling up the ghost print. It's pretty nice. Hopefully you can really see that in these colors. And that's from a ghost print. So you always want to try to pull up um, your ghost print and because I like this design it's pretty faint but you see the shapes and you see the texture so I probably won't go in to do much with it I probably will use some stencils that I have to put some markings. So maybe I can do that. Just isolated markings with some stencils. Um, what would be a good color to use that would not overpower or take away I have some ultramarine violet it's kind of translucent um, hmm. some stencil here. I only want to do little pieces. I don't want to cover the whole thing. I'll do some isolated spots. Just using pieces. Make 
sure this is kind of um, so I'll just put some paint here. Maybe add a little um, I'll add a little Pathalo blue. Let's see if we can roll out just a little color. Just going to pick up a little color. some color there. Okay, so I'll just pick up color there. Okay, so I just wanted to pick up just some other um, colors spread out in the background since I'm not really for stopping by my channel as you could see my video ended where it did uh, my battery died but anyway that was pretty much what I wanted to share today it's really nice uh, using the 16 by 20 gel plate and with black paper and so it's a different look than when you're using the other um, white paper so take a crack at it and try it and see how it works for you Thanks for stopping by my channel.